Hey, welcome to Home Video Hangouts. I'm Cody, and today we're going to be discussing Kung Fu Panda 4 and why it's such an important movie for Jack Black. So in the first half of this video, I'm going to be discussing Jack Black and why this is an important film series for him and why this individual fourth iteration of the series is especially important for him. And then I'll be discussing Kung Fu Panda 4 in the second half of the video and my thoughts on it and where I feel this film fits in the overall series. So first of all, Jack Black is well known for his roles ranging from his live action films like School of Rock, Gulliver's Travels, and also for his animated films he's been in like Super Mario Brothers and his work with Tenacious D as well. Um, but he has also become well known for his work in the Kung Fu Panda series. Many actors and actresses do animated film voiceovers, but they aren't typically taken as seriously as their other live action roles, and I think this series is different. So with Kung Fu Panda, Jack Black's performances have really helped Kung Fu Panda stand out in terms of comedy especially for not just children watching these movies but for audiences of all ages he really appeals to all ages with his comedy dinner please dinner with peas in a sesame soy glaze and i know that in this series it's more geared towards children but still he puts comedy into all of his movies that will appeal to a wide range of audiences which i think is great so that's one big thing that have the Kung Fu Panda series has going for it and how this series has really helped Jack Black. All of this creates kind of a unique opportunity for Jack Black too to gain a popularity among a wider range of audiences. You know, he's been around for a while and there's a lot of people who kind of recognize him for his major roles like School of Rock and some of his older movies. Um, but he also needs to reach a new generation to maintain popularity and to remain relevant and I think what he's doing with kind of reaching out to younger audiences with his roles in movies like Kung Fu Panda 4 is especially helpful, especially when he also does music related to these films with Tenacious D and puts out music videos that are entertaining as well. That can kind of gain him a wider audience uh, with new generations to kind of keep his popularity going and maintain new fans coming into his social media and different different things that he manages and I think we're going to continue to see more of Jack Black in the future because of this method that he's using of kind of bringing his comedy to new generations and appealing to a wide range of audiences. Now I wanted to share my thoughts on Kung Fu Panda 4 specifically and my thoughts on this movie. So I would say first of all that this is likely not the best film in the series as a whole. It doesn't mean it's a bad film, but I would just say that this didn't stand out to me as much as the first three films in the series in terms of um, the action sequences and the level of comedy that we've seen in some of the other ones. I think it's still a great movie and this is still a great series as a whole. But what really did stand out to me in this movie was the visual effects that they incorporated. I think there's some great visuals here, some great use of contrast where this is another film that's going to look great on a 4K Blu-ray with HDR if it gets that kind of release. And that's what I appreciated most is just seeing some of these action sequences where every the background kind of gets dark and there's some bright, vibrant, glowing visuals in these fight scenes with special effects and I, I really enjoyed that. So I think that was what stood out to me the most, but of course there's always the element of Jack Black's comedy performance and the addition of Aquafina's character in this one. She has great comedy performances as well. And so that's what I really liked about it. If I were to critique this film, I would say that it was a little longer than it needed to be, especially the first half of the film seemed like it kind of drags on a little bit and there's not as much entertaining action as there you'd like there to be. I think later in the film it picks up a little bit and there's more elements that get incorporated that kind of add to the entertainment value. Um, but earlier on it's kind of just kind of developing the plot of this new movie and it goes pretty slowly and it gets a little bit repetitive and I think the second half is where this movie really shines and that's what I appreciated the most with everything from comedy to special effects to the addition of new characters. So in conclusion, my rating of this film would likely be a 6 out of 10. 
Um, again, I don't think this is a bad movie, but I don't think it's as good as the earlier film in this series either, nor do I think it's one of the greatest animated movies I've ever seen. I do really appreciate the work that went into both the comedy performances from Jack Black and Aquafina, as well as the visual effects that went into this film. I think the visual effects here stand out from some of the other animated films that I've seen, but there is still a lot of work to be done here in terms of editing and making sure that this is going to hold the attention all the way through of audiences of all ages. This is especially important with animated films geared towards kids who have low attention spans in some cases and I think it's important that they kind of keep this type of movie specifically that has an action martial arts focus fast paced and I think if they continue to do more films in this series they can really improve on them even more because they have a lot of core elements in these movies that are successful and that people love and I really do look forward to seeing what they do next with this series being that it is one of DreamWorks more successful animated series. So make sure you let me know in the comments below what your thoughts were on this movie and what your favorite film in the Kung Fu Panda series is. And hit the like button below and the subscribe button below to hear about my upcoming videos and movie reviews. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.